Well, hello there, everyone. Uh, today I'm going to bring you something a little bit new and a little bit different, a little bit fresh. It's an old game, back from the days of the PlayStation 1 and the Nintendo 64. But it's actually for the PlayStation 1. Oh, whatever. You, you'll see. Ah, yes, this is Mr. Domino. No one can st Wait, hold on, that's not right. Welcome to Let's Play No One Can Stop Mr. Domino. It sometimes has a comma, and I'm not really sure why, but whatever. This game has options, but we don't need options. <laughs> we'll look at those later in an extra video. You can pick characters, Mr. Domino, Miss Domino. There are others as well that you can unlock later, but we don't care. We just want to be Mr. Domino. One neat nifty feature of this game is that you can customize the numbers on your Domino's back. You can also pick your speed, slow or fast. It basically is exactly what it says. Anyway, so we're gonna travel over and see what our first stage is. Well, look at that. It's none other than Fat Tony's Casino. So the game kicks you off with absolutely no explanation whatsoever. Get ready and get going. You can go fast, you can go slow, you can drop dominoes behind you. The field is filled with various tiles and other objects, such as Miss Domino right here, who, after their recent breakup, wants to kill Mr. Domino. Hitting any objects or tripping on those little bumps right there will slow you down. Over time, Mr. Domino loses health, as signified by his color. Because of this, the stage is on a sort of time limit. Now, you'll notice that the stage actually loops, and the dominoes that I placed are right here, so I can knock them over. When they land on certain unique panels, special events occur that will cause more dominoes to fall if they are placed in the right area. That particular area is a glowing red panel that you'll see following almost any trick panel. There are some exceptions, though. Using these trick panels and the hint panels, you can chain together huge combos. Now there are other kinds of panels, though, such as the ones that slow you down, the red ones, the ones that speed you up, the blue ones. There are also health panels, like that plus one and the reset panel, which is usually the bane of my existence, but in this case, I have used it to my advantage. Because it doesn't reset your score, but resets everything else, you can use it to build up your score quite a bit. Now when I say everything else, I mean everything else but your health, so you will have to run across a health panel to fix that. However, this level is pretty fair with the health that it gives you, so you don't have to worry too much about health. Regardless, I run across a health panel and Mr. Domino is all spick and span again. That right there is Bruce, the Devil Domino. He's a jerk, as signified by his devil horns and angry face. When I first started playing this game, the only thing I knew how to do was place dominoes. I didn't know I could speed up or slow down, so when it came to dodging traps, I just prayed I didn't get hit by them. For future reference of scale, remember that that one ball is about three quarters the size of a domino, and that die is half the size of one. Hmm. And that's the end of the level right there. Great job, everybody. I couldn't have done it without you. Here I am getting major bonus points for chaining together combos. After receiving my score, I am given a rank. I am the best in the US. This is the second highest rank in the game. The ranks are town, city, county, country, US, and world. I don't know why US and country are different, but they just are. With all that said though, 
Let's follow the advice of that candy bar and get crunky. And and, and shop till we drop. Um, uh, d does crunky does crunky mean anything bad? Oh, okay. So this level, as you might have guessed, takes place in a typical Japanese supermarket. Up ahead there is the alien domino, whose name is unpronounceable by human tongue. He tried to shock us, undoubtedly because he is highly jealous of Mr. Domino's incredibly slick haircut. When you get to this particular point, head for a tile that's down instead of up. Do not take the one to the far right though, you won't be able to reach the trick tile from it. Try to avoid the boost pad after this part, it makes it really difficult to actually land this next trick tile. Now you're gonna see that I'm barely, barely make it in terms of dominoes. In this level, it's good to learn that hugging corners will actually save you a significant amount of dominoes. Also, if you look carefully, you'll notice that me going slow actually will reduce my score, and me speeding up increases it. Landing this trick tile activates Mr. Domino's telekinetic abilities, allowing him to knock over Bruce. Throughout this LP, you'll begin to realize that Mr. Domino is actually a very sick and twisted creature. Mr. Domino is also very proficient in Vegemancy. It is also worth noting that Mr. Domino once threatened a man by saying that he would quote, pop a corn in his rear end, unquote. Mr. Domino is a family-friendly young man and would not say such naughty words as the A word. That is... that is very strange. But, we cleared the stage. So, uh, doesn't matter. I did actually pay in 10 points, for those of you who saw that I missed one domino. You lose 10 points for each domino you miss, so... Try not to miss too many dominoes, although in the greater scheme of things, it really doesn't matter that much. I am the best in the US, once again! This is the score I will be shooting for throughout the Let's Play. I will get nothing below it, and if I can get best in the world, well that'd be great. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.